Michelle LaDonna addresses the Urane Miller situation and calls his actions manipulative. Right, so I came across a video of Urane Miller's, right? And because I'm a subscriber, Urane Miller, for those of you who don't know who this gentleman is, Urane Miller is the 18 year old chap who he, I think we first saw him on TVJ, somebody's gonna correct me if I'm wrong, TVJ, where he was appealing to the public for assistance um because he got accepted over over in canada in a um at a college i think it was um Norquist college over in canada right um but he did not have the funds to pay his tuition so he was appealing to the public um miss donna Marie go um saw the story like many of us she took to her platform and she also appeal to the public for assistance and she collected a total of thirty thousand canadian dollars correct me again if i'm wrong but somewhere along the lines right we all chipped in right people from the uk canada america um the, the um the the, the 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 caribbean maybe of all maybe even africa as well they all contributed to this gentleman because He's quite intelligent, he's quite smart, and you know, they're the next generation. They are the future. And when you see a young man, right, wanting to make something of himself, right, he wants to progress, we have to sit up and take note and, you know, render some sort of assistance, right? And I thought it was so beautiful, which at the time, you know, Miss Donna um, Marie goes, she, she got a right beating from you know you know who <laughs> already you know beat her down about this whole scamming thing however we never pay that no mind because we say onwards and upwards right and now this gentleman he is now over in canada he's actually in college and he's doing so well because you know he's made his youtube his youtube channel and you know he documents his journey you know he's doing a bit of content creating and i thought that was beautiful because the income that he generates from his channel you know it will go towards you know him sustaining himself while he's studying over in canada so i thought that that was a really really good move uh move because we all know him now you know you have some sort of popularity and stuff like that and we are curious to know about his journey you know he's doing good the great job looking beautiful congratulations um urine right i didn't expect anything less right all right so i say all of this to say <laughs> right because i have to explain to some people who are new to my page and don't know who this gentleman is i have to give some sort of backstory um, so the problem that I have with Urain now, Urain took to his platform, I think yesterday, right? And, um, he basically, he, he was basically begging. I am going to be straight up and blunt. Urain, I am so annoyed with you. I am so disappointed in you that you took to your platform to beg your supporters to pay your phone bill. That's what you were doing. I'm not going to beat around the bush. You understand? You were manipulating your supporters and that's it when i come on my when i use my platform when i come on my my my, my platform you understand the company page i'm a talk you people drag me all over the place i'm not on mind you understand because you allow yourself to be used you understand you allow yourself to be manipulated and used this is what i'm talking about when you bail people out on a regular basis when people come out and they share their story their pity party and stuff like that Sometimes where them I got you, where them said them I got you is not even close to how them come out and explain that this happened. No, it's not that serious. Some of them them have their money put on aside, but just because uno a boo boo the fool and them know that so they can pull the wool over uno eye, them can trick uno. You understand? Them come and them tell uno cock and bull story. No, you rain. Thirty thousand was collected and paid on your behalf yeah. for your school fee, your school tuition. You understand? And you come and I beg the public to pay your phone bill. You are journey? beg the public to pay your phone bill, three hundred dollars. You are talking about credit score of a mash up, and you you had to you in the end you had to use your credit card. Welcome to the club. Welcome to adulthood. You understand? Three quarter. How we were living in the world, have a credit card and I hit we have to use to survive. Sometimes the people that jet set and I live life a credit card. And they take time and pay it off, sweetie. You understand? 
You are a man. The, the, the 30th of August, I believe you're going to be 19. You're a man. Stand on your two feet, sweetheart. You understand? Don't come by your platform and beg people to do this. Don't do this pity party. And you're going to explain this and explain that and this and don't, don't, don't do it. In the name of Jesus, don't do it. And you, you social media aunties, please don't spoil him. If you spoil you reign, you're going to you you are going to make a young girl, young girl's life very miserable. Because the, these types of men, they are nuisance to their female partner. You hear what I'm saying? They are nuisance. Or to them partner in general, because you know me, me not discriminate. Right? When if you if you want to bless him with something, you do it off of your own will. Do not be manipulated by these people because you know what? Them no say. Uno go, uno go roll out and uno go send the money. I've even seen in a comment section where people they are asking him for his Zelle, his WhatsApp, his this. For what? He ran up his phone bill. Right? Because he was using his phone data to do research. How the hell can you do, you're in university, college or whatever, and you use your phone data to do research? Of course, you're going to have a hefty bill. You, ha you can go on campus, the university, there's, it is free. there's free Wi-Fi there, you rain. Mm -hmm. You don't have a chick nor a child to run, come home to. To say you have to be at home to be present for that child. You understand that you have to come and cook. Or if you send the child to school, are you alone so you can sit on one campus? Some libraries they open for 24 hours, sweetheart. Them open 24 hours are up until midnight. You can sit down there, sweetie. Right and do your research. You're doing research, you're in college. So that's gonna take hours. Me know me go to school, me know. I have to sit in the library as well. Me make use of the facilities and the resources that they have available to me. We all do. We have to think smart. You have to make sacrifices on Bunny Bell. You have to start living the college lifestyle, sweetie. Noodles and thing. You can't think say you want to go and live the lifestyle, dress this whole, just flounce and do that. No, 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 no. During the whole holiday, the whole um, um, academic year, me no shop. Me no shop, sweetie. But wait until when we're done. Me can't put, can't be, me not interested in the clothes and she's go up on website for go look on this and this and whatever. Maybe occasionally if me I go somewhere special or whatever. Me go maybe go quickly shop or you know, buy something or whatever. But me not have no time. You ready to come here and talk about you didn't want to buy bir this for birthday and buy the manipulation. We don't need to know what you wanted to buy for your birthday and nothing like that. I know so maybe. You see, you see your supporters or us, the subscribers, as your family. When you come on to certain things, not tell me. Keep it to yourself, because the moment you open your mouth, you are begging. You understand? You are begging. That one different thing, say, okay, if you do something, you, you just, you know, like you briefly mentioned, but there's no elaboration. And if somebody's here, okay, you know, somebody here and says such and such, let me bless him up. I want a different story. But when you come on here, tell me about the company, this and the company, that and this and that, and in the end, you have to use your credit card and whatever, whatever. Let me say, welcome to the club, sweetie. Welcome to the club. You're a man. You have to stand up by your foot. Stand up by your two feet, sweetie. You understand? I work it out. It's not the end of the world. You only have a couple of years left to finish. And you get a degree. And you get a big job. And you can go out there. Go buy what you want. Buy. And afford to pay your phone bill. And all of these things, sweetheart. Don't come on social media. Come beg. You understand? And that's why you turn out your comments. Me see it, say you turn off your comments because you know, say you did wrong. You know that we are against it. Because you are a bad person, you shouldn't be doing that. Me have friends, so many friends. They are single parents. Single men, they say they don't have no man in their life. If you, if you help them, right? They are studying and they have to work to survive. And you free, single and disengage. A luxury that to me, you know? You know, I wish if me free single and disengaged, me can just dedicate all of my time and attention and me go work because you're entitled, entitled to work 20 hours per week, same like we over here. I was an international student once. You understand? And though the countries differ, it's similar. You, are, you can work. Actually, my sister lives in Canada, right? You can work. You understand? You can work. I'm 
burn your belly. I mean, well, you say, okay, you did budget and somehow you have to find some, you have to work it out some way. Because as Mr. wants to come on social media, it's going to look one way. People are going to drag you. Even we will love you. We are going to talk, babes. We are going to talk. Right? And I say, we, we don't like you. We don't mean you're no good. No, we do. We still do, but we want you to be a man. Make a way, find a way. You understand? What if you have your family, right? And something go wrong. Are you, you have to work something out. You have, you have to. You know, sometimes people have to run to one local friend to say, you know, a friend, me I do such and such, or, you know, and, and this never work out the way I want to work out. Give me some sort of assistance and stuff like that. That's a different thing. That's just, you know, that's, come on. We all need a little bit of help. But you know, so I don't take time and I come and I use enough platform and I get this enormous amount of help. It's so much more than what I did we ask for. And then when I get all of that, I don't come back again. A person will shoplift for a living, he will never go out there and spend going to go spend in money. Because why would I go in a shop go spend in money? Hmm? You see these shoplifters, right? When them go in there and shoplift and then come and then sell the stuff where them steal from the stores and sell it to them customers out on the street, right? The money where them get, you think so they're gonna take money and go in and go buy certain things in other store, they will never because they know that they can do it, that they can buy it, they can steal it. Why would I spend my money when I can go there and just take it? So the same thing, when you keep on, people keep on using their, 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 their platform, you understand? They beg and beg. Them not, they're going to spoil them. Them not going to want to take up their money. They're going to say, why? Why should I? One time you can come and tell them, why look up? Sad story, right? Even if it is true, them know that so they can use the story. And, because let me tell you something. If you want to bail urine out of this, right? Something bigger because look, this is just a phone bill, you know, where he can more than pay it with his credit card, like most of us, right? And it's just a phone bill. So just imagine if it is something huge. And look how Maguan, his title was I am in trouble. Which trouble? You're not in any trouble. Shut up. You're in, you're not in any trouble. You're, it, you, it, you're not in any trouble. You understand? You're not in no trouble, sweetheart. So don't use your put the title, oh, I am in trouble. Which trouble? That is playing on people's emotion. And when we talk about that for the 10th, for the 15th, 50, 11th time, for the umpteen time, when it cost me. Playing on people's emotions that were, I am in trouble. For your phone bill? For your phone bill when in at the end you use your credit card PF, which me no say. Your supporters them send more than that come give you already. So you are relaxing and you're smiling and you're you're okay now. I'm pretty sure of it. What are your thoughts on Michelle's views? Comment below.